are watching on from home park as the referee all in black just counts up checks there's 11 on either side and Plymouth do get us underway kicking from right to left in this first half you know the the opportunity hopefully arises for him to have a go 21 level well this is a lovely purposeful run into the opposition half and still going shifted towards the aforementioned Marsh on this right hand side squares up the defender plays it in field trying to pick out Dashi which isn't the idea is it no laws are there to uh, to be Got obeyed you. by surely Gippard breaking forward turn. slotting the ball forward towards Marsh goes positive for corner Palace Derry again with this corner two so far for Palace it's over 10 minutes gone Great get ball. in there is the first goal pinpoint accuracy this time we didn't see it the last time but we know how good he can be in that regard George King with that little hooked header into the low bottom corner and Crystal Palace have the lead here inside 11 minutes it's Plymouth nil Palace won just to work the clock a little bit um, Jesse with an excellent delivery there's a lot better this one good purpose and pace on it good height as well and you can see there you know George just arrives at the right time the little nodded header down into the net smiling faces can't be separated but at the moment so far so good here's Gibbard working it towards the left hand side Derry's got it on the angle what can he produce here we know how good he is from this sort of area oh. great trickery still oh. going oh. towards the back post Marsh so close from the 18 yard box but Cardines will try and come forward again here's Mustafa towards the dead ball line plays the ball across goal it's cleared only as far as Gibbard effort goes in from distance Plymouth now. Oh, tight. Very tight because that high line's being adopted. This could be a shooting chance here. Played across goal by Grant. Oh, oh kidding me. A big, big opportunity. Oh, he might just leave it this time. In fact, he is going to take it right footy delivery. Oh, oh dear, it was so close. But it no foul given, and Adams Coleman. Here we go. Just come forward here. Hindelow getting the opportunity to run, Better. working it towards that left hand side for Derry. He's going to square up the defender into the 18 yard box he comes he's taken him Excellent. on the outside floats the ball across oh. goal and it's a big big chance again Dashi's headed it wide Ooh. Plymouth coming forward down the right hand side towards the dead ball line they come there's a couple of players for the cutback the effort goes in saved by the goalkeeper jump I'd like more to jump Isaka comes forward tries to drill it along the ground well, that wasn't a great idea was it to jump Eastwood's <laughs> right in behind it winning it back they've still got it no, this, this is not good. And here's Isaka. They're ending the half strongly. Plymouth in fairness in possession. They've got it. Isaka plays the ball across goal. And there is the equaliser. It's been slotted home by Caleb Roberts. And Plymouth Argyle on the stroke of half time have level proceedings. Roberts just calmly slotting home after Isaka was calm in the build up. It's Plymouth Argyle 1, Crystal Palace 1. Well. I'm not sure what we can say. It's been coming. Yeah. George King giving Palace the lead. Roberts equalising on the stroke of half time. Towards the oh. back post. The header goes in. Go on, throw. Taken quickly up the line. It goes in behind. Now there's a chance. Could this be the opportunity? In towards Derry. Takes it out the sky. Might fall towards Hindelow. Mustafa, he can shoot from here. Does shoot. Goes looping high up into the air. Left. Off your screen. Oh. Plymouth now running in behind Grant out of position momentarily this is good work the goalkeeper comes off his line good goalkeeping you would have to say expecting the referee in fairness to you, you, yes you are but you have to go Here here's go. an opportunity Zach Marsh now on the edge of the 18 yard box still going Marsh goes for goal Jesse Derry might get an opportunity still going Zach Marsh has got it 20 yards out left hand side up against Grant the Plymouth player wanting to possibly shoot here still going down he goes go to the ball never likely to be a penalty and what if the way effort goes in good save good play very good play Derry now inside excellent feet infield it goes towards Hindelow once more excellent towards Zach Marsh Marsh one more one more one more there was a player on the outside Aquanoni he wanted it It was so on, but Lesson can't blame him. He's just got on the pitch. He wants to have it. Agbanoni plays the ball in. Yes! The second goal. It's been headed home George. once more by George King. At the double, the central defender. And with 10 minutes to play, it's Plymouth 1, Crystal Palace 2. Well, does ever so well. Arrives at the right time. Just, you know, making a determined run. 
can see he walks up here. Now you'd think this guy scored. Somebody get tight with him. Free again. Look at number five. Absolutely free. Free. Right, he walks into somebody, comes behind. The five doesn't look. It's a simple header. But you all all the quality is in the cross. Just along the six yard line. I uh, well done, Quinny. The substitutes have played a, a, had an impact, and that's what you want. Mm -hmm. to be a part of it. Oh, this is the danger player, Isaka, coming forward here, the number seven. Just keep him there, George. Just shoots or feigns to shoot, works it towards this far side, and it goes wide. It's going to be a corner. It's a Caleb Roberts and Finn. There you Finn go. to Roberts. Finn again shoots with the left foot. Did it get tipped round the yeah, corner? No, I, I think it hit somebody. Save corner left hand side four minutes to play this game will be settled tonight 2-1 Palace lead all oh, the header goes in what saved. save might have just flicked onto the frame of the goal what a save big opportunity the keepers up well, well, that's last ditch isn't it take it this really yeah, is well, nice nine, chance to lose time. Bernard floats the ball in it evades the keeper header goes in brilliant save from Billy back across goal it's going to be another corner Billy Eastwood with the goal kick plays it forward and the referee keeps it going still Plymouth looking to try and run in behind headed back to the goalkeeper by Grant and there goes the full-time yes. whistle Palace have done it well done. the Eagles are through to the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup Plymouth Argyle have certainly been plucky opponents they've made it difficult but Palace have shown enough and they've booked their place in the next round, Mark Bryan. Yeah, congratulations. That, that, this is what it is. It's, it's, it's cup football.